Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to replace the default tooltip with the visually rich report page tooltip that appears when you hover over visuals in Power BI. Report page tooltips allow you to gain deeper insights quickly and efficiently. I will also go one step further and show you how to let your users pick what's displayed on the tooltip according to their choice using Bookmark Navigator. Let's go and get started. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. Before we start, let's have a look at the data model first. I've got a simple data set where I have a dates table and a fact table. For fact table, I am using the sample data set that comes with Power BI Desktop. Looking at this chart, we can see that the sales trend has ups and downs. Suppose if you want to find out on any given month, what's the sales growth over previous month or the percentage of growth, then we need to have two measures created. Currently, it just shows the sales amount here. In May, it's 6.2 million and June, it has increased to 9.5 million. If you want to find out the growth, then we can assign those measures to the tooltip section of the chart. Let's go and have a look at the measures that I have created for the month over month change. Under measures, I have sales month over month change. Let me expand this. Here I am calculating the month over month sales change. First, I am assigning the total sales variable to current month. For the previous month, I am calculating by shifting one month back using the date add function. So when I return, I check to make sure only one month is visible. Then I minus previous month from the current month. This is a simple DAX calculation. Similarly, for sales month over month change percentage, first I'm assigning the previously calculated change amount to a variable. The second variable I am recalculating again the previous month sales. When I return, I check and make sure only one month is visible. Then I simply divide the change by the previous month sales amount. Now let me drag and drop these two measures to the tooltip section of the visual. And let me hover over any month. Now you clearly see the sales has decreased by 12% between April and May. In terms of amount, it's 754,000. This is great, but if you want to find out the breakdown of the change, for example, if you want to see the change in terms of segment or product or any other dimension, then the default tooltip is not able to show you that kind of information. For that, I have created two other charts by segment and product where I have used the segment and the sales month over month percentage. Currently, it's not visible because it expects one month to be visible. Let me click on May. Now you see the change clearly here. So on the left side, I have change by segment and on the right side by product. Having to click on each and every month to see the breakdown by segment or product is not a great user experience. Instead, we can replace this boring tooltip with our own tooltip page where I can include this chart and it will change based on the context and show me the correct information. To create a report page tooltip, let me first go and add a new page. The first thing you need to do is to go to the page properties and do some changes in the settings page information here you can give a name let's name this tooltip page as month over month tooltip and most importantly you need to turn on allow use as tooltip toggle to on next we are going to define the page size for this tooltip page under canvas setting type you can choose tooltip if you want to have your own tooltip page size, you can of course do it using the custom. Currently, when you choose tooltip page, it gives you the height of 240 and width of 320 pixel. Let me now go and change the page width setting and keep it at fit to page. Now I can bring my visuals onto this page. Let me switch to page one and I can take the segment and these two cards. Control C to copy, 
and paste it onto this tooltip page let me do some alignments here now the tooltip page is done now let me go to my page one where I have the report and if you hover your mouse now you don't see the report page tooltip yet that's because I haven't assigned it yet to assign it click on the visual under general you will find tooltips it should be turned on and type should be report page from the page option it will show you all the report page tooltips that you have created from here you can pick any that works for you right now we have created only one month over month tooltip let me pick that and if you hover your mouse now you should be able to see the tooltip page changing according to the context right now I'm looking at May it shows me 12 percent drop 754,000 and broken down by segment we now have a tooltip page that works fine but what if you want to see the breakdown by a different dimension such as by product instead of segment in this case you will have to create another report page tooltip and replace it with this one which is not dynamic that is a better way in order to make the tooltip page dynamic and to deliver a seamless report page experience we'll add two buttons to make switching between product and segment easy let's go and see how we can do that i'm going to first copy this chart over here which shows the breakup by product and paste it onto my tooltip page I can keep the same size and the alignment I'm basically layering on top of the current visual over there the idea here is to create uh, two bookmarks and will allow the user to select using the buttons okay so let me turn on the bookmarks pane and the selection pane so we have two visuals over here let me select both of them and group first by pressing ctrl G so we have a group let me call it month over month first let me make the segment visible and hide the product I'm going to create a bookmark on top of that you can name it as segment and this options here are very important so data we don't need to keep display is important selected visuals current page I'm not going to keep the current page option here I need to turn it off that's because when I click on the button it's going to come to this page and make the segment chart visible which is not what I want I want the user to click on the button and it should switch the visual without having to come to this page I will click update and the second bookmark will be to make the product chart visible and add another bookmark call it product and set the same settings remove data current page selected visuals so I'll have display and selected visuals turned on click update to update it uh, right now we don't have any data shown up here that's because only a single month has to be selected for data to appear here if you click on the bookmarks now you see segment and product okay now I should group these two bookmarks together as I'm going to use them in a bookmark navigator you can select both of them right click and group We'll name it as month over month for this bookmark and now switch to the report page I don't need all these visuals anymore since I have them all in my tooltip I can delete them align it right in the middle good now I'm going to insert a bookmark navigator on the buttons you will find bookmark navigator you may have multiple bookmarks in order to assign the right bookmarks 
it's always better to group them together so now that i have grouped it i can go back to my format navigator pane on the bookmarks i can choose the group that i have created bookmark fine now if i click on segment you are going to see segment coming up in the tooltip page similarly if i click on products now you are switching to product this way you will be able to provide your users with flexibility and good user experience with bookmarks and tooltips one last thing i just want to show you is how to do the formatting on the bookmark navigator let me click on the bookmark navigator under format navigator let's pick shape around the tab both top under style for default let's choose white as the font text color and the fill will be this golden color and then for selected text will be white and the fill will be similar to the title background color yes let me turn on the border and bring this slightly down now this gives a good look and feel of an app like experience that's it for this video hope you enjoyed the content if you like it hit the like button and subscribe and stay up to date for more power bi and excel videos thank you very much